तुमने अभी इनको जंग में हरवाए हैं हमें एक और जंग लड़ना पड़ेगा अब भारत के लिए दो ही ऑप्शंस हैं दो ही ऑप्शंस या वो सिंतास मायदा मान ले नहीं मानते सिंतास मायदा को डैम और कनाज निकालने की कोशिश करेंगे तो फिर पाकिस्तान जन करेगी और हम छे के छे दरिया छे के छे दरिया के पानी अपने आवाम को दिलवाएंगे The Indian government has communicated to Bangladesh that it will renegotiate the Ganga Water Treaty, which is set to expire in 2026. According to an early Pentagon intelligence review, the US airstrikes on Iran's nuclear facilities have only set the country's program back by few months and not destroyed it completely. College of Military Engineering Pune and IIT Bombay have successfully developed lightweight modular bunkers using prefabricated ultra high performance concrete blocks for quick assembly. India's PTC Industries has signed a MOU with Safran Aircraft Engines to jointly explore the manufacturing of components and materials for military aircraft engines. Reliance Defence has announced that it has secured a 600 crore rupees export order from Rain Metal Germany. Indian Army's Eastern Command conducted FPV drone training at 14000 feet to redefine tactics and push the limits of autonomous and remote operated capabilities of in-house developed drones. Brahmos Aerospace has delivered 15 out of 35 Manuk small turbofan engines ordered for DRDO's 1500 km long range land attack cruise missile. Safran Aerospace has announced plans to establish a new entity, Safran Aircraft Engine Services India in Hyderabad, that will focus on the maintenance and overhaul of M88 engines of Rafale fighter jets. The Indian Army will commission 6 new Pinaka rocket regiments by 2026. That includes 114 launchers, 45 command posts and associated equipment. The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics has said that crucial negotiations with General Electric on the transfer of technologies for the F414 engines have concluded and both sides are now focusing on the commercial aspects of the project and the deal for the joint production will be signed by March 2026. In a groundbreaking revelation, a former Brahmos aerospace scientist has disclosed that the DRDO is developing a hypersonic glide vehicle with a range of over 5500 kilometers and a staggering speed of Mach 21, which is approximately 25900 kilometers per hour. It has already achieved Mach 10 speed in its first test in 2024 and once ready it can evade advanced missile defense systems and can deliver conventional or nuclear warheads with unparalleled precision and speed striking targets in Asia and beyond he also disclosed that the brahmos 2 hypersonic cruise missile will have a hypersonic speed of mach 8 and a strike range of 1000 kilometers a former brahmos aerospace scientist has disclosed that the DRDO is actively developing the MIRF capable K6 submarine launched ballistic missile that will have an estimated range of 8000 kilometers and a hypersonic speed of max 7.5 and its strike range covers nearly all of Asia and parts of Europe and Africa from Indian waters the scientist also confirmed that the DRDO has already completed development of the 5000 kilometers range K5 SLBM The Indian Air Force has been exploring a Russian proposal to lease eight newly built Tu-160M strategic bombers, and the lease model will mitigate the high costs of outright purchase. The deal also hinted at technology transfer that would enable integration of indigenous weapons, including the Brahmos cruise missile. However, ongoing negotiations have hit significant hurdles. as the Russia Ukraine conflict ongoing since 2022 has strained Russia's military industrial complex which has diverted critical resources to sustain Russia's operations impacting production timelines at the Kazan aviation plant and sanctions imposed on Russia have further complicated matters limiting access to advanced components and technologies needed for Tu-160M production today's top 3 comments 